Now, I just recently made a video on Unreal ET Gaming talking about my thoughts on Monaka. Now, I, I, I really want to just disclose certain things because after after reading your comments and whatnot, a lot of you guys seem to believe that uh, Monaka is indeed the former god of destruction of Universe 7, and uh, the reason why Beerus is so on the defensive is because he doesn't want, you know, Monaka to be exposed for being that deity, and uh, honest to God, guys, I mean, with the direction of Dragon Ball Super, it's been absolutely amazing as of right now, um, and I want to get, like, your overall thoughts on you know the premise of monaka because um i still stand by the fact that i think he's gonna have transformations i still stand by the fact that i think that he is stronger than a super saiyan god super saiyan but of course um i could be wrong but it's it's, it's the overall pizzazz that Whis gives off of just saying stuff like hey are you gonna reveal who he truly is and beerus just flipping his coins saying no not yet um now for all we know this character i i still stand by the fact that he's strong uh but by some mere coincidence if he just turns out to be a mere weakling i will be very upset because I don't want, you know, someone to be as respected as Monaka is to Beerus because Beerus is giving him such respect, man. You have to look at the entire premise of how Beerus is treating Monaka. He is not treating Goku that way. He's not smacking Monaka. He's not embarrassing Monaka like he is Goku. Like, this dude is treating Monaka like a very prestigious person. I mean, like, how many people has Beerus respected? Beerus doesn't respect nobody. He's the god of destruction. He doesn't have to respect anybody. He is a god. That That's what makes him different than anyone else. But it's something about Monaka that sets him apart from other people, like Goku and Vegeta and stuff like that. Because, I mean, we all saw it. I mean, Beerus was coming after Goku and Vegeta on his planet. He's, you know, smacking them around, making them do chores and stuff. But he's not doing that to Monaka. Why is that? Why Why isn't Beerus being an asshole to Monaka? Because there's something about Monaka that just screams superiority over anyone else. Um, I don't think that he is another god from a different universe. That's just... It's a little silly because why would he... That's, first of all, in my book, that's technically cheating because why would you have a god... I mean, first of all, by default, gods would destroy anyone on that on like, on, on both respective teams, right? Um, given the search like the situations, because obviously we can't have gods uh, fight the characters. Well, I, I actually no, I, I take that back. You can't have gods fight each other, but you can they can have other characters fight for them. Um, for Beerus to just introduce uh, another deity from a different universe to fight for him makes no sense because what's in it for them, you know? Uh, respect. I mean, it's not even about that anymore. It's about something more here. <clears throat> and uh, Beerus definitely respects Monaka, but it's it's just the entire premise of who he is and like what he represents that just leaves me to wonder like is he really a god or at least the former god of destruction because that that's what I stand by either that <clears throat> or um or Monaka has been around since like the Majin Buu days because if you if you go back to Toriyama's work Majin Buu has been in creation since the very beginning he was created out of nowhere he's always been there um. So can we imply the same thing about Monaka? Because obviously we saw him meditating. He was sitting there watching the fights and stuff. And Beerus told Goku, don't get in his way. Don't try to be heroic because when you do, you know, it's, it's ultimately going to cross paths with him and he's going to end up, you know, destroying you. So for me, at least, guys, his true identity may be revealed. Um, I, I think it's going to be revealed during somewhat of a battle. I don't I don't think it's going to be revealed after the tournament's over because that makes no sense. Um... But whoever he ends up turning out to be is going to be really freaking cool. Um, now, I want to get your thoughts down below as to who he is. Um, I know people like Nicholas Bass, a.k.a. Lego Lapras, is going to make a video about this. I know uh, my friends Derwin L. Rose and Alpha Keyblade are going to talk to me on Skype about this. I know there are going to be certain people talking about this. And um, it's always good to hear feedback from other people like in terms of like how they feel. Now, I want to point one thing out about... A friend of mine named Nicholas Bass, he is not so connected with Dragon Ball Super as everyone else is because he has his, you know, viewpoints as to what's going on, which is respectable. Um, but one thing I never really heard him touch up on, honestly, was the entirety of Monaka, who he is, how strong he is, what he represents, and why is he being treated with so much respect, you know? I'm not just asking Nicholas Bass this, I'm asking all of you. Why is Beerus treating Monaka with such respect? Like, 
he doesn't even allow Goku to talk to him. That says a lot right there, you know? Uh, so I would like to know down in the comment section below your overall thoughts on the respect level. Like, this dude has to be a prodigy if Beerus is treating him the way he is. So thank you all for watching, guys. Once again, I'm going to make another update video in a few. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, I'll be catching you guys in the next video.